tracks then go crazy. What's going on, my good folks? It's your man, your guy, your boy. 1127 Kicks. I hope everybody out there is having a great day, an amazing day, and overall a blessed day. Say, man, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a huge favor. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the page. And if you're already with the movement, bro, I greatly appreciate you, man. Hit that like button, share this video, and let's go ahead and keep this page growing. So, man, we're a few days outside of the release. I had to take my time, get as much information as I possibly could get about this shoe. Now, I did a copper drop on this video on this shoe, and now we're going to get into the how to cop. And basically, man, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't seen one of my how to cops, man, we're going to talk about resale, where you can find the shoe. We're going to talk about stock eggs, goat, all the other good stuff like that, man. Raffle list. I have everything that you need to know to give yourself the best chance possible to cop this shoe. So sit back, relax, and post up and enjoy the video. So, man, the shoe that we're talking about today is the Nike Dunk Low, the What the Paul Rodriguez joint, man. This, this shoe, excuse me, is slated to release May 24 for a retail price of $150, man. Now, this is a highly anticipated shoe. I'm anticipating this shoe ever since I've seen first images. And pretty much this is, um, you know, all his shoes that he has with Nike, all 10 signature shoes put into one. And that's how you get the what the vibes with this shoe. And it's a really dope, solid shoe, man. As you can see, I have no complaints at all with this shoe. And honestly, in my personal opinion, I truly feel like that this shoe is one of the best dunks to come out this year. I'm not even gonna lie about that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get into this resale, man, because I know that's what everybody cares about. And then right after that, man, I will have this raffle list up for you guys. There's a lot of raffles going on for this shoe, man. So y'all just, you know, stay tuned for that. But as you can see on StockX, man, it's pretty much looking like 700 and up. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild at all. You know, I'm a little surprised by it, but at the same time, I know when, you know, official images came out, I think they was going for like 1900. I seen the shoe actually, I seen it like, you know, that shoe was going to go down. And I think that the resale price on the shoe, as far as, you know, getting it early, will be going down even more closer to release date. Now, of course, at the release date, you know, I feel like that the resale price will go up because that's usually what happens because people do impulse buys and a lot of times sneakerheads, they be trying to, you know, certain resellers, they try to get them shoes off their hands ASAP. Now, when you look at GOAT, pretty much the same thing. You're looking at 700 and up. Now, when you get to like that size 11, that size 12, you know, that's when you start looking at them in that thousand, you know, little range right there. It's more than StockX, about $150 more. But once again, it just all depends what your preference is, what you want to, um, you know, who you want to shop with, where you want to buy. Me, I would pay that extra money to, you know, go through the GOAT process rather than go through the StockX process. Hold on right quick. But that's just me personally. I would rather go through that than mess around with StockX. But regardless of anything, if you get the shoe for 150, you'll definitely profit off the shoe. You're talking about selling this shoe. I think, you know, when the shoe releases, I'm talking about maybe 600 to $700, you could resell the shoe for it getting it for 150 so you're looking at a really really good profit when it comes to this shoe right here man so overall if you get any size you're honestly catching the dub bro and that's how i feel about it now i will have the store raffle list up and there's a lot of raffles man now some raffles have closed but there's a lot of open raffles still and while that list is going on another thing that i want to give to you guys is that in order to find out if your local skate shops is actually you know raffling this shoe off or if they're doing anything or if they even receiving the shoe you could go to nike sb finder.com man you could type in your location and pretty much whatever city you in or whatever zip code and basically what pop up is you know you have a black nike sb box and then you got your orange nike sb box now when you see that orange box that's when they do like in-store pickups and all other types of stuff like that usually the orange boxes is like the premier store so if you're close to the you know the orange box location call them up see if they're doing a raffle on them most likely they probably are if they're just you know just your regular sb you know skate shop 
Still call them, man. They might be doing a raffle on the shoe, your local skate shop. So you can definitely do that. That is nikesbfinder.com. And once again, the only thing that you have to do is type in your location, man, and it will pop up every single Nike SB skate shop or in your area, man. So make sure y'all tap in with that and call your local skate shops, man, because we only a few days out of this release. So, you know, I want everybody to have the best chance possible at actually getting this shoe. Now, overall, I do feel like this shoe will sell out. Uh, I do feel like this shoe is very, very limited. Um, as far as skate shops goes, <clears throat> you know, you never know with the skate shops as well, man, as far as in-store pickups. Sometimes, you know, they get backdoor, but the resale price on these are not too crazy like that. So, you know, I don't think it's going to be too much backdoor going on. But once again, you never know. And then this shoe will have a sneakers app release May 24th at 10 a.m. Eastern time, man, via the draw. Now, of course, you know, a lot of people, they feel iffy about the draw. You know, is it legit or do it really fights bots? I think the, you know, the draw is actually legit. I'm not the biggest fan of it because I don't hit on a draw like that, but you know, it wasn't like I was hitting on Leo drops anyway. Leo drops dang near end up turning into draws, man. Honestly, pause. But you know, it will be dropping then as well, man. And so make sure that you got everything set up really good, man. Make sure you got your payment information good to go, your billing address good to go. If you're trying on multiple devices, and I know a lot of people are gonna try on multiple devices, make sure, please make sure that you are not that you don't have all your you know devices on the same Wi-Fi under the same IP address because if you hit on all those devices, all your orders will be canceled, man. So you know if you got different little hotspot boxes and stuff, different IP addresses, you good. But if not, man, it's a good chance that you know your order can be canceled. So make sure you're doing your thing, your due diligence when it comes to that as well. But overall, man, that's pretty much, you know, as far as like how you can cop the shoe, man, you go to nikesbfinder.com and, you know, you can look up all your local skate shops and you'll be able to call whoever in the orange box is like the premier store. So that's the ones, if you're really close to one like that, that's the one that you really want to tap into, honestly. Then on top of that, you know, you're looking at a $450 to $500 profit when it comes to resale for this shoe, man. And honestly, you know, I think people's chances might be, you know, a little better when it comes to trying to get this shoe right here. I'm definitely going for the shoe. I'm gonna speak it into existence that I will get this shoe for retail. This shoe is coming home regardless, but I would love for it to get get it for retail. So I will get it for retail, man. I'm gonna keep on speaking that to existence, but let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the comment section below. I just wanna say I greatly appreciate y'all, man. Make sure you keep on liking and subscribing to the page. Support the movement. And y'all already know how we finna end the video off. If you search for good, you shall find a favor. If you search for evil, you shall find you. Proverbs 11, 27. And we walk in faith and not by sight. For what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is forever. I live by that. I stand by that, man. I love y'all. Stay blessed. And it's your boy 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your feet with something. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came back to go on showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit. They made these for wanna listen. You know these niggas ain't fucking telling. Get out of here.